I think. I have like 27 recordings for yeah. you. The, um, the um, I don't know if there's any liability to that or not. It's kind of like if you have a thing, if well, you otherwise, then yeah, just re, but so then the solution is remove it, just get rid of it, then there's no problem. And does that just wipe out every one of those ones that was already filed? Because the code th that is the basis of the of the complaint doesn't exist anymore. Can you even do that? I don't know. I don't either. <laughs> yeah, see, you know, when you're looking at trash, there's been plenty of trash nuisances that have not been enforced in this county. Sure. Um, and those are the ones I think are the biggest problem that we're dealing with that I'm trying to say is what's taking the majority of a facilitator's time. Well, I would say the, that's the most people. expensive as far as abatement. I wouldn't say it is like you have you have zoning issues where there there is no solution without changing. Like if you have, you know, folks that are have a you know, a second dwelling on a parcel. There's no way to fix it. There is no way. And then what if that's the one that you put the, and that's what we've done before. Mm -hmm. You file the notice of non-compliance. Yep. It's like, I can't, we're not going to go down and tear somebody's house down. But if it, if it something, if it something happens to it and right. you try to apply to replace it, you replace won't it, get you, approved. You won't get approved. It's legal but cost informing. Is this new facilitator the one that's putting it on the title or are you doing it? No, I don't think, I, I don't, I think this is not, most, oh, many of these functions don't belong in the building department. And in a sense, they weren't in the building department, they were in the code compliance department, mm -hmm. which happened to be housed in the building department, but it could yeah. have been housed anywhere, it didn't matter. That the, but it just needed a director. It needed a director and it was like, okay, that's well, it whatever it was created. The biggest section, that's why it well, probably went there. Probably why it went there. They um, could go anywhere. Say my understanding is when it was written, the person in that department wanted it. Wanted it, right? <laughs> we don't get those very often. Mm -hmm. yeah, please give it to me. Give me the pain. Give me the pain. Mm -hmm. Yes, I love mm -hmm. it. So, I guess the first question would be: What do we do? What do we do? Yeah, immediately right now, June first. I think we've already to... spoken that we need to postpone or pause or cancel or whatever. Right. whatever I would extend. I, I would support that, but I also don't want to extend it without because one thing about the deadline is it puts pressure on us to do something, and we need to. And don't COVID this be like the debt ceiling. COVID is lightening level. up, so you don't extend it another six months because of that no second. we can't say that so we exactly so we have to say we're doing it because we are we are you know contemplating restructure the the whole program and we're not we don't we're not ready to go yet and so you know we need we need more time and that's why there is nothing to because at this point COVID expires we restart it it's restarted the way it was we don't even have a staff person right know? Right. So yet effectively nothing would happen. Well, anyway. that's what I'm saying. I don't want to hire one either no. because we don't have we don't know what we're going to do. We do their job correctly. Right. And right now their office is taking up with my temporary <laughs> archiving person. Right. So. so I guess the easiest thing, my perspective, COVID is not a valid reason. And I would need a valid reason in order to extend it. For me, the simplest thing is to let it expire, to let Lynn act as the one that takes, you know, the, the complaint and then shuffles it off to where it needs to go. And so, because about a quarter or half of them are gonna have to go through anyways, just based on the, the overall numbers, but then the rest of it, and then we work through it as we need. And if Lynn's completely swamped, we hire someone in, in there to, to, to manage it. But right now we just kind of go with the, the new stuff that's coming on board that we can deal with. If we need to put, you know, uh, with, like with zoning, the, you know, the certificate of non-compliance, I mean, that's, that is what it what is. time consuming is that? To do the non-compliance? Yeah. That part in itself is easy. It's, it's all the correspondence you send out and document right. prior to filing. All the hoops you got to jump through in order to do that. We right. send out. Because it has to, really has to be the last resort. Exactly. You and have we to send give out them every opportunity right. and then they get so many days to respond and then you send exactly. it again and right. then they can. 
And if they respond, then they get another set of time. And it's, it's, these are not our rules, these right. are state laws. Right. So it's not, about we can't just suspend years. the laws because they're inconvenient. Yeah, Sydney has a, a set of about three correspondence letters, you know, letting them know it's getting closer. Okay, this is your last straw. Okay, it happened. I mean, it's it's a series. We but, don't, it's, but Cindy's sending that out, right? On building permit ones, yeah. on building permit related okay. ones. Mm -hmm. But so you already have somebody, so it's not you having to send all that and, and do the... Not, not code that. enforcement, no. The code enforcement would do their own. But the ones that we do, um, with my example of you didn't follow through on your permit stuff, right. and therefore, then those are done by Cindy. But the code enforcement ones, um, those were being done by the code enforcement officer. Because they had slightly different verbiage. From Can we give that slightly different verbiage to Cindy and let her do that as well? On those ones, I mean, how many do we I mean, have We could, but as far as way through the book. yeah, but as far as you know, busyness of staff overall right now. You, I mean, Rebecca, Cindy, all of us are very, very busy with the number of permitting and everything. Right. right. But I'm going to hear the exact same thing from planning. Exactly. The exact same thing from all the rest of them that we're already busy. Well. If we had, you know, a code compliance officer, they're going to have to be doing all the same work with the department heads doing the same thing or with, you know, staff within those departments. So either way, the work's going to have to be done within each department um, as, you know, environmental health had to deal with. Like, yeah, you're going to have to do it because if we hired a code compliance officer, they can't go out there and look at the, the septic and say, yeah, it doesn't work. Because they're the ones that are the expert on their topic. Precisely. And and if you have to send three letters and all that, sometimes housing that within that department makes more sense because then it's it's not a game of telephone like did you send the letter? Did you not exactly. send the letter? It's did I use the out? right RCW? Did I you know yeah. that's the part about the facilitator that I don't like is he's the guy playing telephone. That's what I'm saying. You know, Kevin R. Or Avery tells him something and then he tells the landowner, and I hope he said it right. You know, and it's I just don't like that at all. But we also I don't like that either, but I also don't like the 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 person the the citizen is going to get bounced around and there is nobody because you can always say no i think that's a health issue you need to call them and health goes no i don't think so i think that's a planning issue you need to call them oh no that's a building part and, you know people have gone the full well, circle that's why i'm fine with giving it all the phones ring to one place and that person dictates but how is that any different than it is now now they ring to her because then, those things that are supposed to be you no. are supposed to be handing them off now right but it just wasn't ever that way. And it was always coming back to me, back to me, back to me. And it's like, now if it's okay, I take it in and I say, here you go, it's okay. yours. You assign a number to it and do a little with it. Okay, this one is yours. Yeah. Well, I guess that's, that's because really otherwise the solution it like, is that, because I, I think that's the way you, you come but we need to, to get those departments, if that's going to be a problem so that everybody understands the expectation. Yep. It's not your thing, it's, it's if it is a if it's a zoning issue, if it's a planning issue, it's going to go to planning, and you are taking this over, and you're going to handle it. You don't get to just pass and say no, I don't really. Or here's the information, tell them this. Oh, like, no, is, this isn't yeah. my thing. You do it. And that no. takes a lot. Of right lot back of and forth. I'm fine with that. I think that right. that will work as things. long as the because it is different. Before it was, we had a compliance officer, and they were the one ultimately responsible. They were supposed to be coordinating and getting information which and doing they, all that stuff. Which they did, and it always still came, still came back to us to do all the correspondence right. and all the this and okay. all of that. That's a lot. We of just time. need to a lot of time, and then on the old ones, tell each of those other departments what is expected of them now under right. this new guidance. And then we don't do abatement, I guess, is where For we now, are until at. We figure it out, yeah. Right? But then that's what I guess a resolution needs to say. Or, or whatever for after July 1st. Well, I think trash and solid waste yeah. not can go to solid waste with there, other There might be that, some of it that they can do. They may be able mm -hmm. to do some of it, but like the big abatement, and it's, yeah, right now, because we, 
we don't really have a solution for that part of it. And that's where all the money is. What, but what I don't like is, is having something out there saying we can't do it because there's things that we came across that, you know, I got involved with it, like that it needed to be done. You need to find something like on the septic because the, the our prosecuting attorney was saying, hey, it says you guys signed this ordinance. It says you can't do anything. And you've got septic running down the road. And mm -hmm. you're like, well, we can't do anything really. And so I don't like it when we say- Well, no, I would say don't say anything. I mean, right. we don't, we but always it, it limited, expired. like our thing said, we will do abatements if they qualify. We've never done, because it was always, uh, as we had resources, we chose the most, you know, egregious ones. And we, you know, we did three or four of them. Well, we had 12 in line, but we did three or four. That doesn't mean we said, we're not doing any of them or we're only doing three or four. It's like we budget. And I think maybe that's what we go back to is that we, we set a dollar figure and we work our way. We get as far down, whatever the most one is with those dollars. And then the next one, we have to wait to the next budget cycle. And then that's, that's the limiting factor. Yeah. Cause I agree. You don't say we're not doing it. Right. Cause I don't think you can say that. But then I wouldn't deal with abatements. No. That would be whomever's what is being abated? RCW, et cetera. Right. Unless they're abating a chicken coop. That was right. But then that's permitted or... <laughs> yeah, it's permitted or not permitted, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. We could probably fix that. You turned into short term rental? That's what I understand. The direction <laughs> we're headed. Served with truck water. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not on that one. I got but... two more comments about that. This, oh, uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> I route to health for that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah route to health. Good answer. So who will draft verbiage for the, after July 1st? I didn't do the other verbiage, no. so. Are we going to do a verbiage or do we just want to let that expire like they said, let it expire? I know, but if it expires, it goes back to what was there. Right. It's right. A suspension and we don't want what was there unless it's what's there with a. Wait, wait, wait. No, because what's there has a code compliance officer. Correct. Well, we're going to have to work on rebuilding the code compliance. Because right now it's hanging out there with Title XX. Right. right. Well, and that's what I would say I would get with the prosecutor in full code compliance that he has sitting on his desk. Because if we're redoing it again, I really don't want him wasting his time looking at it now. And then how are we doing it so that we know what to draft? I guess two things. Number one, we need to say, because it's taken a while, a while for them to, to get to, which ones are more proud of the three we gave. We gave them code compliance, STRs, and the RV. Which one's most important? Should we work on first? I don't think we have nuisance fix because I think we just opened up the can of work. Okay, again. so short term rentals or the RV, which one should they be looking at first? No matter either way. I, mean, Probably short I, I would say which one has more complaints. RV. <laughs> so RV, then short-term rental, then and we'll work on code compliance if since they haven't read it anyways. Maybe you and I can chat and work our way through something. Does that sound good so we can move on? So I think I think we're moving towards the right direction. So if we we're always moving, need to have another one of these or whatever to, to finish off that part of it. I don't know that we're ever going to find the actual solution to do we have a person? How do we pay for the cleanups? Uh, that's a whole other thing that we're going to have to figure out budget wise, or if we start getting new tax revenues, squirreling money away. Or well, it could be. I mean, I will remind us that we have historically funded a code compliance officer and we funded abatements that was not we we it's this isn't like a new budget item it's stuff that we've always budgeted for it was just that the we had here's what the need and here's what we've always budgeted it wasn't that we, we it was new money it was the question was are we going to bring this up to do this because the cost so, got, the cost so, got so high that, so yeah. or are we just going to you know, we always just budgeted twenty thousand, twenty-five thousand dollars for abatement, and that usually got us two. One big one, a couple. One big small. one and a couple little ones, yeah, and that's we just did. Facilitator, you can have ten abatements. Could be, right? Right, and I'm not opposed to that. I'm not. I'm not saying that. I'm. I'm not. It's just I'm not. weighing all the options. Right. 
So that I think is the tricky part we still need to work out. The rest of it with delegating the, the responsibilities I think we have, we just need to figure out the verbiage to do it. And maybe what we can try to do is make things like uh, solid waste did that online form for if you see trash or something along the road. And now you're getting to my new website. <laughs> oh no, this is this is a Google form application. This isn't a whole new website. This isn't a million dollar catalog. This is no gold plated toilet. This is a Google form to help people be able to, to put it in there so we know where it needs to go and whatever. But yeah. I don't think we're gonna okay, I don't think we're going to solve the rest of that okay. now. So did we answer her last question on who's writing the new resolution or whatever? Well, sounded, what I heard was that Commissioner Anderson is going to visit That's and right. chat okay. with Lynn and come up with her. Yeah, work for me. Unless you want to. Did I do that last time? Okay. I think you did. Yeah. Okay. I think I think you did the two that we've had so far. We can this back to you guys and be the lead. I can send them to that. you just so you've got the. Formula. That would work. So then we'll decide. She'll come back and be like, no, 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 no. What were you thinking? Commissioner Anderson and I will work on verbiage then and of what to do after July 1st. Pending so like more discussion. Pending more discussion. Yes. All right. And yeah, we talked to the prosecutor, so we don't waste his time on that. Okay. I'll email them and say, never mind. Yeah, never mind on this one. We've got more work to do. Does Rebecca do civil or does she do RVs? I think she mostly does civil, okay. but maybe and maybe only. But I thought well, that was where I was, what if what all do they have on the civil side? A lot of planning issues. Is it a lot of <laughs> yeah? Yeah, there's a hearing coming up that we heard yeah, about. Yeah. <laughs> all right, anything else for me? No, I think that's. I think we're good. All right. Enjoy the rest of your day. I will try. You too. And the boys turn. Okay. Uh, next up, we're almost right back on time. Mm, a little off on grade. He's not coming. Oh, look at that. So that no, no, I knew that ahead. Of time, yeah, so I was cool. I was using that time as it was. Uh, prosecuting attorney pending issues update, some of which may qualify for executive session. Mr. Canal, do you have any um, wish or desire to have a discussion with the board on anything? Uh, I don't have anything in, in particular right now. Okay. Okay. Any any questions? Were you on for that last discussion on the three different um, things that Lynn had sent over? Q. Um, bits and bits and pieces of it. The internet connection with the county is going in and out, but uh, um, we um, do have. Um, a few pages of comments that we're prepared to send on here in the next day or two. Uh, the gist is that I think we need to start over, but we'll, we'll send a few pages of substantive comments um, on to um, Lynn and copy the board on that. Okay, sounds good. See, Thank you. Those like that, I think it would be wise and time, um, better timely to have the prosecutor sitting in on them. So as we're writing, he's like, uh, yeah, no, uh, and we're not spinning our wheels. Yeah, did you mean that on all three Q or was that for, for code compliance? We're finding issues with all three. Oh. Well, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Ms. Anderson, come on up. As he was saying, the, the internet connection was a little off. So I wasn't sure where you were on your agenda. So just, just a little. Just a lot of, a lot of, a lot of. So um, we want to talk wish ram for a okay. minute or two, and um, I have some very simple maps if you would, um, because I, I think we understand the general plan. But then it became a little more complicated. Oh, it you. always does. Yes. It seems so simple. So I know the original goal was to rezone everything in the urban exempt area and the urban exempt is, sorry, there's a lot of lines on here, but it's the dash thicker red line. Okay. And then what we found in the Heights area in orange, that is the area that's most likely going to be developed. And that's where the one 
family, the church wills. Right. Are. Um, I'm going to pause you. Where is the the Indian section? That's that. Okay, right. It's right in the middle of this thing here. Yes. It's in the height. That's this parcel here. The, or this being this this multiple parcel. That's what yeah. 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 Okay. Got it. So the orange that's north of the highway is a likely area oh, that I'm would sorry. be um, rezoned no. or have those development beyond that. Yeah, that whole thing there. There's six parcels there. One is a tiny parcel with the PUD well. The others are more residential lots. And one of the larger ones is split zoning currently. Then as you move south, there's the purple, and that is a Nate Kaiser and Otis Smith. And we've reached out to their families and different people and really got no response. But right now they're cattle or you know, grazing and feeding and all this stuff. So if we were to rezone that area in purple, we'd have split zoning, which is something we're trying to avoid because we are trying to be more consistent with zoning following property lines than just yeah, but this isn't property. This is this is this is like state boundaries in essence. Right, right. So then we go down to our last little bit, and that's the blue area. And um, that's actually, as you'll see with the aerial photo, it's pretty much um, water or property in water. So um, there's that lake there. I can't remember. Is it like dump? Or we call it dump lake. Yes, the, yes. I'm sure that's I'm not sure its it, official title. Exactly. But. So I'm just using the language I've learned from Where the citizen. Yes. Oh, that's it? Yeah. So I okay. don't know. It's own parcel. Um, the whole lake is in. It's actually divided between Burlington Northern yeah. and then Northwest Storage has Hi. a little, yeah, Hi. has a little, little swap there. So we kind of want a direction if you indeed want us to rezone the, the lake and these larger parcels that have split zoning or just concentrate on that area north side of the highway where the initial interest and stuff came from. Well, I guess that's my question. Is the purple area available to be rezoned later in five years if we choose to do it? Yes, I would yeah. think that that option is always out there. So since they're not too highly motivated. Yeah, yeah I mean, we could kind of um, just deal with the part where there is a current open space. Yeah. What was the orange, by the way? Um, there's like there's six different parcels. I believe there's four different landowners. The very small oh, ones, the PUD, and, yeah, and then Church Will, and another gentleman owns, I believe, two of the lots. Well, I guess my issue, my thing is, is going to be is no matter what you've got, already got split zoning on that on that Nate yes. Kaiser. So, yeah. I mean, this is what's available inside the the area of Wish Room that's outside the, the city area. area. And if it's in Wish Room, I just put it like the zoning everywhere else, and include everything in that little swap. And if they don't want to develop it and leave it around forever that's fine. Right. it's in current it's in it's in, in current is it in current, current use, use. So, so it doesn't make it one affect the current use ag or something yeah, yeah but no. the zoning because they've got part of it like you said it's split zone now correct so we're not actually creating any more, more split splitting. zone we're yeah. just adjusting it to the to the urban area boundaries which is more consistent with uh, if anything but we've got this zoning that goes north that's yeah zoning, so we should bring that down so it's inside our area our jurisdiction you're saying the northerly portion in the scenic area that's zoned rural center you would want us to yeah is so that this is this is everything here right is, yep. is all of it so make the zoning follow the line just make it follow the line 
So the mm -hmm. right now right. this is zoned up there, but so you'd want us to reduce that rural center down to there. To what we and have. That, that would be consistent. With that. Right. I wonder what's going to happen. Yeah, when, when we get to the National Scenic Area that we're rezoning property within. I no, mean, we're, we're rezoning. I think you took my pen. Oh, that was yours? I'm sorry. <laughs> I just realized right. I, I left the wrong thing. thing. Oh, here. Thank you. Well, other than it, what but was that zoning zone. already? It's their, what's their it's zone? Their zone. Not ours. Well, our zoning is there and it's been there before the scenic area. Before the scenic area, area came over existed. the top of it, but they don't actually recognize our zoning anyway Correct. outside the urban area. So it doesn't really matter. So you couldn't build on that anyway. So no, because you really wouldn't. Suck it so that's true. You're not actually taking anything away because it, they don't have it now. Right. I'm just saying, yeah, to clean it up. Yeah. We deal with what we have. Okay. Yeah, so, I would agree. Okay. Yeah. And then also on the east end, there's some rural center zoning that is outside of the urban exempt. So we should, I'm assuming from what you're saying, we should clean that up as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Yang and the Dead River Enterprises. Yeah. Because they have to go through them the anyway, anyway. anyway unless there's some reason that we can't think of that gives them some grandfather clause right because of the zoning i don't think so though i think anything that was because anything that they tried to do with it after 1986 would have had to be in compliance with scenic area zoning anything that was there before right. they could and they could replace it it would be a pre-act use which you could continue so it really wouldn't change anything I don't think you would be taking anybody's rights away from our from no. you can only do you're what you can do you're just cleaning up lines because it's again consistent because why do we have zoning that's outside that doesn't meet the or zoning that's inside that we don't have zone correctly. That we don't have zone okay. correctly. Yeah. And then there's also this portion here that we would zone. Yep. Really? Yep. Okay. So we just took something simple and made it much simpler. Well, <laughs> the, the, the end result could be the, the end result will be simple. It's like the line getting the there line. might be a yeah. problem. But it gives us a oh. justification for getting there. Right. Right. A fair and equal right. across the board. Okay. Okay. I think we have a mission or a goal. All this shows me is that they, when they drafted the Scenic Act, they didn't care what our zoning was. Not at all. <laughs> because otherwise, they, they should have it. came and they should have drawn their line where our existing or at least were. close. Some of these are so. Yeah. Did you know that the nation bought this property? No. Remember that. that gentleman who came yeah. in? Yeah. Actually, I had heard that. Or, yeah. Okay. I did actually now that I think about it. I don't know if he, they bought it or he gave it to them. It changed hands. Okay, I think we have direction, so I shall go forth and do good things. Yes, of course. Get that all fixed up. Small portion of yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow, right? With that right out, having a consent on Tuesday, we can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll work on that. Yeah, you can set the process starting. Actually. Yes, <laughs> that that will work. Well, thank you, and yep. have okay. a good afternoon. Y yes. Okay. Is your pool open? Yes. Everything going okay? Well, yes. Very, very. Well, we opened on the twenty first. Very cold weather, and then suddenly this weekend, oh my lord! Right. Very hot weather. Oh, good. We should have lost customers. But uh, we have our capacity at 124, and we didn't exceed that, so we're good. Good. Yes. Oh, good. But later in the week, it'll be back down to the 70s, so who knows what we're going to end up. But yes, we are swimming. Swimming lessons, not yet, because we can't touch the kids, basically. Oh. <laughs> Unless there's an emergency. But hopefully, with the governor's releasing you know, some regulations by the end of the month. Yes. That's from lessons. That is the goal. Well, have a good afternoon. Thank All you. All right, you as well. Um, board pending. I got nothing. You know anything you want? <laughs> Your eyes are so. <laughs>
we've done enough damage. I think we've done enough damage for the day. Okay. Well, then I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So move. Second. Yeah. Have a motion. A second to adjourn the regular meeting. We have no workshop scheduled. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Motion passed. We are adjourned.